your timing is impeccable. I was just about ready to start the best video I've ever done. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and I am excited, folks. I've got some great information I want to share with you. If you've been watching my videos over the last couple weeks, you've probably noticed I've had more than just a little interest in warrants attached to SPACs. And why wouldn't I? They're getting hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of percent gains in a day. Can you imagine your $100 investment making you $1,000 or $10,000 in a day? So yeah, I'm paying attention to them. And what this video is, is a comprehensive, brief culmination of everything I've learned and acquired about trading these warrants attached with SPACs. Now, I'm not going to just give you information. I'm going to give you some tools, some real tools that are going to help you make money. So we are going to look at what a SPAC is, what a warrant is, what makes this opportunity so hot. And then I'm actually going to give you a plan, a strategy to take $50 and turn it into $18,000 in a small window of time, maybe two, three months, something like that. Minimum. <laughs> Figured I better throw that minimum in there because you think I'm exaggerating. No, I'm trying to keep the number down so I don't blow your mind, overwhelm you. Look, I could have said a $100 investment. Why did I pick 50? Because then we'd be looking at a $36,000 profit in the next two to three months. And that's just mind boggling. So I'm trying not to overwhelm you. But the truth is, yes, you can make some huge gains with this strategy. Now, what I like about trading SPACs, say, over bankruptcies, Bankruptcies make us money. They get lots of bounces on their bleak, dark news. But the problem really is, is that there's not a lot of them. What do we get? Five or six to choose from? That's it. Boring. SPACs, there's got to be roughly 200 of them on the market right now. And what you're seeing right there is my watch list. There's about 80 or 90 of them. And those are all hot SPACs. What makes them hot? Every single one of those SPACs has news attached to it news that came out sometime here recently. Now they could have a hard catalyst. It could be a merger talks, could be signing a letter of intent, could be closing a deal. That is definitely going to get the warrant to skyrocket. Or it could be a soft catalyst. Maybe they have a shareholder meeting to vote on something, or maybe there's a piece of news they've already had the meeting and approved it. That's going to get the warrants running as well. So every ticker on that watch list is hot. They're all good. And I could give that to you. And that'd be great. That would be a start, <laughs> right? Because you just don't want to pick any ticker willy-nilly and put your money in. You want to think something about it, feel something about it, have a connection to it in some way, shape, or form. So if I give you that watch list, that's great. But now you've got a lot of work to do. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to share my due diligence with you on 60 different SPACs. I've been looking at these SPACs for about two weeks and every day I go hunting. I'm going through filings, reading all that paperwork, way too many words in there, news presses, doing cold searches, just looking for any SPAC that has any information out there. And I then come over to Twitter and I put a post on it. So I boil all that information down to about five or six bullets and I post it. And you get to know what the name of the SPAC is and their ticker, the company that they are merging with, what they do, what the valuation is of the two companies combined, and then a very important piece of information, the window of opportunity, the cutoff date, the deadline, when can we expect something to happen. And of course, you've got your ticker down there at the bottom for the warrant itself. So this is what makes the difference. I don't have a hotter, shorter list. This is the list I used. I picked my six. Now, I posted it the other day and some people wanted to play my list. That's okay, but you might find something better in this list I'm sharing with you right now. I shared this with my brother-in-law and he saw one for TV Ammo. This is a company that's taking ammunition and they're getting rid of the brass coverings. And they're using some sort of ceramic, non-reflective colors, a lot less weight, disperses heat better. Well, he got all excited. He says, that's going to be disruptive. That's a big deal. Well, I read it. I posted it. It didn't strike me like that. And that's what I'm talking about. Each of us have our own 
feelings, our own criteria. And when you're attached and have a belief to a stock, it's, it's a better thing. So you've got that information over here now. So what exactly is a SPAC? Well, a SPAC is a blank check company. This is a group of investors that come together, they put some money together, and they get a company up on the market. They do all the work, all the paperwork, pay all the fees, and they get a company up there. But this company isn't doing anything. They're a shell business. They've got no operations, they're not making any revenues. What they do is secure the ticker, and then they look for a company, normally a private company that wants to go public, or somebody on a lower exchange that wants to uplist. And they bring them on board and they pay them to come on board. See, a SPAC sells their shares in advance. Before they've made the deal, we are investing in the company, believing in their promise that they're gonna consummate a deal within 18 to 24 months. They do have a deadline. And if they don't get it done, we got our money back. Yeah, it's a money back guarantee, we get our money back. But if they do, everything is great. Well, here's the funny part. From the time we buy those $10 shares, all that money is put into an escrow account. And our shares have a locked value of $10 until they consummate or close a deal. Which means when news comes out about merger talks or signing a letter of intent, the stock doesn't move that $10 share. It may bid up a few cents or a few cents down, but it's not gonna go anywhere because it has a locked value. So by default, the warrant gets all the attention. So when they make this deal, they take all that money from all those shares, those $10 shares, and they take $500 million and give it to the new company who takes over the ticker and then launches themselves out there. Well, all the news up to that point, it's the warrant that runs on it. The warrant gets all the attention. And a warrant is just another type of stock you can trade, like ADSs, preferred shares, right shares, all these are stocks you can get in and get out of any time you want. You can make and take your gains at your will. So I like that about warrants. But warrants also have a benefit. They are a mini option. They are a coupon that allows you any time in the next five years to buy a share of stock for $11.50. I'm not pulling that price out of the air. That is the price. So you could have a 1,000 shares of warrants. You make your money, but you only sell 900 shares. You keep 100 shares in there. Four years from now, this $10 stock is worth $80. You can take $11.50 and one warrant, give that to them, and they'll give you an $80 share for $11.50. And you can turn around and sell it for that profit right now which is gonna be my plan. I'm never gonna sell all my warrants. I'm gonna hold a small chunk of them so I can make more money down the road. Why not? So that's what warrants are, that's what SPACs are, and that's why I'm excited about them. And they can make us a lot of money. All we have to do is parlay it. Think of it as a roulette wheel, right? There's 36 numbers out there. If you could put a bet on every single number, you would always win problem with the roulette wheel is you lose everything else. Well, that doesn't happen in the stock market. We can cover all the numbers, have a winner, and still have the other ones on the board. Okay, let's take a look at the strategy that can make you some buku bucks with just a wimpy investment of 50 bucks. Now, there's nothing special magic about this. We're just parlaying our gains back into our investment. And the fact that these warrants have such huge gains, it allows us to parlay much bigger. So we get exponential growth. And that's how you turn $50 into $18,000 in two to three months. So I'm figuring. So this is how it lays out. We're gonna have an initial investment in each warrant of $50. You wanna do $100, that's fine. But I'm trying to keep the numbers reasonable here. So we're gonna buy one warrant, $50 of that warrant. And we're gonna find something that fits us, suits us, has a window of opportunity we're comfortable with. And we're gonna wait for that to pop. When it pops, and six out of 10 having good news are popping, doesn't mean the other four are losers. It just means we're seeing immediate response to six. So there's a good likelihood that this could pop. If it pops, we're expecting a 1,000% gain. 
That is the average, the low average. Honestly, between 800 and 1200 is the low. When you look at all these runs, there are some huge runs out there. 8,000, 10,000% gains. Averaging them all together, 1,000 is a low average. It just is. So if we would expect, maybe it's gonna be lower, but this is a nice round number, it works, okay? We get 10 times our money. So our $50 turns into $500. Now we can go get 10 warrants at $50 each. Find 10 companies that fit us, suit us, have that window of opportunity we're looking for, and we get 10 of them. Well, six of them are probably gonna pop. Six out of 10, respond to news, right? So when those six pop, each one is gonna make us another $500. That's gonna be a total of $3,000 you have on level two. Each one, when it pops, you go out and buy 10 more. You can buy 10 more. We're just investing our gains. Now, if you need to pull some gains out, take some gains out. You can see how many we got here. Now, maybe you wanna switch it up here. Maybe you don't want $50 in each one. You got $3,000. Now you put in $100 and get 30 SPACs, 30 SPACs. Now right here at $50 each, you got 60 different SPACs. How many did I have on my hot watch list? About 80 or 90. How much of this is covering the board? Goodness gracious, that's like 75%, maybe even more. So I am covering a lot of the board. and. All we need is our percentage, our stronger gains, our stronger odds to keep playing what they're playing, to keep happening the way they're happening. And these 60 different SPACs would give you, six out of 10, 36 SPACs that respond. If you base it on the same math up here, 36, you are gonna end up with $18,000. $18,000 because 36 out of your 60 popped and you had six out of your 10 pop. What you need here is one out of one to pop. So what I've done, I've just shortcutted it. I didn't have the 500 at this point in time, but I did have 300 I could spare for it. So I bought six. I bought six packs at $50 each, put my money where my mouth is. I mentioned this strategy not too long ago, and I'm going to see how this works. And I have got my six chosen. I, like I said, I put it out there. Some wanted to copy it, but now you've got the DD and you've got a strategy. You can find your 10. Maybe you do want to put in 500. Skip that first one. Get to that second one. Get yourself 10 of them at $50 each. Find 10 that fits you, suits you, have that window of opportunity that feels comfortable to you, that you expect something's gonna happen, expecting six out of 10 to run at a minimum of 1,000% gains, averaging them all out, you could end up with, well, you could end up with, uh, if you're working with $100, you could end up with a lot of money here, folks. I'm at the low end. What if you get a couple here that hit 8,000% gains? and you had $100 in it. You just made $8,000 on that one SPAC. Another one only gave you 600% gains. Another one gave you 1,200% gains. Ching, 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 ching. Do you hear the bells? Do you hear them? Lots of money can be gotten in from lots of different streams here. You're diversified. Now, this isn't something that's gonna be easy. The more you have, the more you have to watch, and these move fast. They move fast. When they start climbing, you should be selling on the way up, not the way down. On the way up, folks, the volume is low in these. Liquidity is low. You don't want to buy too many. You could get stuck with some of them because there's just not enough people buying after the run. But during the run, there's a lot of people who want them during that hot spurt. So when you see multiple hundreds, you may want to think of selling half. You've got you know, a couple hundred, you're gonna get your money back plus some gains. Now you can let the rest run. You never know when it's gonna stop. You never know when it's gonna fall. You never know when it could be a 10,000% runner. Yeah, there's a little bit of gamble here, but that's why we scale out and you can let a portion of it, you sell half and then you sell half of that and then you let that last little bit go. You see how far you can get and every one of those cells make you more money. Yeah, you're losing a little potential, but you're not losing 
money. You're lessening your risk. And that's what this is all about. You want to get gains. So don't get greedy. We never know how high they're going to get. But you know when it's higher than you were expecting. Take something at those points, folks. These warrants have little volume. 5,000, 10,000, 20,000. They're popcorn. It's heating up in the pan. You never know which one's going to pop. And there goes one popping. And then one went out of the pan. Every now and then you get that 10,000, 20,000% runner. And we're trying to get into these before they run. Looking at lingering news in the back, things that are about to close in the first quarter, January, February, somewhere in there. We're looking for those windows that we can buy at these low prices, bad days, get in there, grab a position with our grocery money, maybe just our cigarette money or beer money. 50 bucks isn't much. You know, you can go to $100, but I'm trying to show you, you can get $18,000 by multiplying one, take the winnings and buy 10, take the winnings and get 60. That will leave you 36 to pay you out. And if they all paid you minimum winnings, you would have $18,000. If any of those pop out of the pan and go further, God only knows what you could end up with. Truly, God only knows because we are covering the odds. We're giving ourselves plenty to pop here with these huge gains. So even if a whole bunch didn't pop and you ended up with a whole bunch of stale kernels in the bottom of the pot, first off, you can sell and get that money back. And if you have $50 in each one of them, and let's say one fell to $20, well, if you just made $800 or $1,000 or $1,500 on one, I assure you, you've covered the loss in these little investments. This little one parlays up to numerous other ones, each one with the same ability, each cloned into a SPAC that will pop the warrant because the stock can't move. Folks, this isn't going to last forever. SPACs are now coming in less and less and less. But I just got done talking to somebody who said that there are nearly 500 SPACs on the market right now. Many of them are dying off like dinosaurs. Many of them are falling off the markets. Many are trying to save their hides with votes and extensions. Those are all catalysts to get these things running. Every single one that's going to have a meeting and a vote, you could see a run before the vote. After the vote it's approved, you could see another run. Then they have news of merger talks. Thank God we thought we were going to go under. Big run, big run on that one. Then they sign a letter of intent. You get a nice run on that one. Then they close the deal. Well, you know, things change now. They just closed the deal. The stock's alive. People are interested in buying that stock. Not a lot of attention goes to the warrant. Matter of fact, you may find a whole bunch of people evacuating the warrant because they've had their games and they know there's competition now. Uh, all investors will be buying the stock and the warrant. So let's go find new game. And there's lots of game out there, folks. I hope I've shared some good information with you here. You can tweak it any way you want, but make use of that due diligence I gave you. Now, that is all current available information, ones that you should be considering putting your money into now. Hope this helps, folks. I want you to make bank. I want to make you some money. And I'm not even asking for a percentage, but I do like gifts. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kinda. <laughs> Remember, folks, the more you know, Urgh, the more we're going to grow. See ya.